What's a piece of advice that I can offer you if you're having or considering to have uh, rotator cuff surgery? I get this question asked a lot. I mean, this is one of the ones on a lot of my social media posts. A lot of people send me either, you know, comment on the post or send me direct messages and ask about rotator cuff surgery. So this is a really, really big topic because a ton of people suffer from rotator cuff pathologies. And I really have two recommendations. The first recommendation, if your physician's okay with it, would be, especially if you're gonna have to wait a little while before you have surgeries, to go ahead and start some therapy. If your insurance allows and, and, you, know, and you can afford it and all those kind of things, to go ahead and start the strengthening process. And then if nothing else, to at least go over what the expectations are gonna be, kind of what you're looking at, after you have surgery, so there's not such a shock because there are going to be some things that, that's going to come up that you're probably not, you haven't thought about, it's not, you're not aware of. So that's one of the things. And the second thing, I know this is a little difficult because sometimes insurance you know, companies, maybe they stop paying or you run out of visits or whatever, uh, but if possible, stay in therapy as long as you can. You know, if you can be off work and all those kind of things, because the longer that you're, you're in there and you're progressing with your strength and your range of motion, um, you know, the better off that you're going to be. The biggest thing with after rotator cuff is motor control. If you look at research, um, I think I did a video on motor control. If I didn't, I'll do a video on motor control, but having the ability to have adequate motor control really makes a difference in the long-term success of your surgery. So that's one of the things that you wanna make sure is really where it needs to be is that motor control ability. So um, I hope that helps guys. And like I said, really you need to find somebody, a therapist or somebody, you can contact me. I mean, I, people contact me all the time. You can message me, uh, you can call me, you can email me. Any questions that you have, like, you know, what am I looking at? What is this going to be like? Uh, what are my expectations? How much pain am I going to be in? Uh, and all of that matters a little bit based off of the technique that's used. You know, is it arthroscopically? Are there little portal holes that they're using? Or is it an, uh, an, an open repair where they're actually going through, like when they do a shoulder replacement or, you know, label repairs and things like that, actually make a full slit? So all of that stuff matters and you have to take into consideration as well as some other factors. So I'd be happy to go over any of that with you and just kind of try to help you out and give you some insight as to what you're looking at. So I hope that helps guys and thanks so much for watching.